Hi everybody, it's Christine here with you today and I'm doing another Plan With Me video in my Inkwell Press Flex layout. Um, today is Saturday the 26th of March and this is a very sad Plan With Me video my friends because I've been on spring break all week and uh, that means I'm sitting down to plan my first week of going back to school, no! Um, we love spring break and it's a great uh, countdown coming now till the end of the year, but that also means that between now and June there is one sad little holiday on Memorial Day weekend and otherwise it's just me and 122 14 year olds day in and day out until June 17th. So let's hope that I can hold myself together until then. Um, today I'm going to be featuring the um, um, Elements set from Sweet Stamp Shop. This is so freaking cute. I'm going to use um, the little hexagon for my bullet points um, and I'm gonna use the cute little chemistry people and some of these other cute things um, in my decorating. So it'll be fun to have this today. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do, like I always do, is lay out uh, my washi tape. I like to put a washi border down um, the three boxes and across the top and the bottom. Um, and then I'm going to use a black pen to uh, put a dotted line down through the middle of uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, because there is no school on Monday, yay, um, to separate my day into school and home stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that for you. So now that is done, um, I'll be ready to um, put in each one of these boxes that's split in half. We'll have work, um, school items on the left, uh, meetings, parent conferences, after school activities, what have you. And then on the right side will be um, things that I want to get accomplished um, after school in the evenings. And so I'm going to um, take a few minutes to fill in those. I'm going to be using, like I said, the little hexagon from Sweet Stamp Shop's Element Set. This is going to be serve as a checkbox for me. I'm also going to use, um, I think, this stamp from the Epic Notes set um, up here on Monday. And I'm going to use um, this band. Um, well, no, actually, forget I said that. Change my mind. I'm not going to use that. Um, I'm going to use, where is it? Oh, here we go. Basic tabs. Um, a couple of the icons uh, here from the basic tab set um, to record some things. So let me put all of that stuff down and then um, I'll come back and talk about any of that.
right, everybody. So I have my appointments and to-dos in. I completely forgot that I wanted the whole left side to be yellow, and I went and put these little bullets in with the mint green ink without even thinking about it. Oh, well. Say la vie. Um, and wow, that ink is really a lighter color than I realized. I don't even know if you can see it. Um, hopefully you can. I can barely see it. Um, it's very pretty. It matches this mint color really nicely. Um, at any rate, okay, the next thing I'm going to do is um, make a weekend banner um, to separate Friday and Saturday. And I'm going to use, I looked high and low for a hexagon and I found one in this super cute um, Be Happy set from Pink and Main. And I'm going to um, use these um, hexagons to sort of create a banner here that says weekend. Um, and I'm gonna do that on sticker paper. Um, and then when it's all done, cut it out and stick it down. So that's my plan for that. decided halfway through making this banner that I wanted a background um, sheet of paper, some patterned paper. Um, so I went and got that piece of yellow hex scrapbook paper, which I think is really super cute, although it made the banner a little bit big and it's encroaching into my uh, Friday Duolingo language practice. But, you know, these are the these are the struggles that we go through, friends, when we are trying to plan out our weeks. Um, so now what I'm going to do is put in uh, Saturday and Sunday items. Um, and it's going to be a lot of the same things that are over here um, through the week, although I do need to finish my taxes Ew. next weekend um, and uh, a couple of other things. But let me go ahead and put those items in here, and then we'll address these three boxes then we'll do the decoration and we'll be done.
right now that's it for the weekend. I, f I feel like I should know that something is going on next weekend, but I can't think of what it is. And if I look back here on my April tab, there's nothing, there's nothing there. Just, I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something. So I'm leaving lots of empty space here just in case um, I need to go back later and put some stuff in. And now I'm going to do the three um, colored boxes. And I do the same thing on this, um, on these every week. The top box um, I use for steps in my skincare routine because I get lazy and skip them if I don't have a place to check them off. The middle box is uh, chores. And then the bottom box is a place where I just sort of, um, at the end of the day, sort of sum up how my day went. So I just write a few words in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of those items for every day. And then we'll be ready to attack this bottom section. off of there. Alrighty guys, so here we are with the three side boxes all done <clears throat> and ready to go for the week. Um, I usually add in um, other errands as the week goes on, so um, definitely leave space in that chores box. Um, and sometimes um, if I have space, I'll add an extra to-do item over here, but these are pretty full, so if I have more to-dos this week, I'll use that extra little chores spot to put them in. So, um, And look at this, Wednesday and Friday, no meetings? That's amazing. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is decorate the bottom little section here, the note section. Um, and I'm going to use, oh my goodness, this cutest thing ever. Um, I'm going to use, I think, the little boy and girl... Um, do I want them both or just one? Maybe, I'm thinking maybe the boy and the girl and this grouping of um, flasks and maybe um, another one of these little, like the barf or nerdy um, from the periodic table. I, I used to teach um, eighth grade physical science and it was all the periodic table um, and a, a sort of intro to chemistry. And so this set just makes my little heart happy. Um, in order to do decorating down here, I'm going to stamp all of these things on sticker paper. I'm gonna color them in with my Prismacolor pencil, colored pencils and blend them with Gamsol. Um, so after I'm done coloring, once you, when you see the little container with the dauber top and the little gray sticks that I'm sort of coloring over, that's um, the Gamsol. Um, I will also go back and color in these icons um, so that they're not so stark. I'll color in that guy. Um, and once that's done, we will be finished. So here we go.
Okay, you guys, I think this is done. Um, <laughs> I, after I did the bottom, I decided I wanted to add a few more elements to make it a little bit more colorful, and then I went back to color them, and I would like, I think I had them all, and so I got the Gamsol, and then I noticed another one that didn't get colored, so I had to go back and color it, and then I got the Gamsol, and then I noticed another one that didn't get colored, so I had to go back and color it, and I think, I think everything is colored. I don't think there's anything now that's just in black and white. So here we go. The week uh, for next week is done, uh, March 28th to April 3rd. I can't believe that this year is into, almost into April already. Where did the time go? I have no idea. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I will leave um, links to sources down below. I wonder how, look at how dirty this is. How did that happen? Um, anyway, um, if you have any questions or comments, please do leave them. Um, we uh, read and respond to all your comments. Let us know what you liked and didn't like um, so that we know um, how to tailor this to you guys for the future. I hope you guys um, have a wonderful Easter tomorrow, and um, I will see you in a couple weeks. Bye.